Hello again, grateful. I hope you are doing well and staying safe at home. So today we are going to study a new lesson, which is first we will practice the story, which is on page 68. But before that, let me remind you the, the word that we had. Okay. Mobile phone. The first word. Mobile phone. Here it's mobile phone. So I should find this word and put it under the sound. So this is mobile phone. Next word. Documentary. Documentary. That's documentary. Remote control. Remote control. This is remote control. Channel. 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 This is channel. After that. Camcorder. Cam camcorder. Camcorder. This is camcorder. The news. The news. The news. This is the news. Radio. Radio. This is radio. TV program. TV program. This is TV program. Cartoon. Cartoon. This is cartoon. Password. Advert. Advert. As I told you, it's like when you say reclam. Okay, so again. Mobile phone, documentary, remote control, channel, camcorder, the news, radio, TV program, cartoon, advert. Okay, so now let's watch this story. Then I'm going to read this story for you as well. Stay with me. What story? Okay, something new to watch. This is the title for this story. Something new to watch. Why are you arguing? Please give me the remote control. I turned on the TV to watch the basketball match, but Max turned it off to play a video game. Well, my favourite programme is on now. Can I watch it, please? And I want to watch it too. Let's find something new to watch. How about this new DVD? What is it? Put it on, then you'll see. It's a holiday DVD. Wow! Ah, oh, it's where we went in the boat to see the dolphins. Thanks. This is much better than playing a video game. And it's much better than arguing. Dear students, please pay attention. Now I'm going to read this story for you. And after that, you can read it twice for yourself. And then you can act this story with your family members. How, for example, your mom can be mom here and maybe you want to be Leo and somebody else wants to be Holly. So you can act it with your family members. So now listen to me very well, please. We have four pictures. I'm going to read each picture. Okay. Mom says, why are you arguing? Please give me the remote control. Picture two, Leo said. I turned on the TV to watch the basketball match, but Max turned it off to play a video game, Amy says. Well, my favorite program is on now. Can I watch it, please? Holly said, and I want to watch it too. Picture three. Again, mom, she is speaking, and she said, let's find something new to watch. How about this new DVD? Max says, what is it? Mom said, Put it on, then you'll see. Last picture. Leo said, it's our holiday DVD. Wow. Ah, oh, it's when we went in the boat to see the dolphins. Max says, thanks. This is much better than playing a video game. And mom said, 
and it's much better than arguing. After this, we have lesson two, grammar one, which is on page, look, page 69. Okay, 69. But as usual, when we have a grammatical subject, we are going to study it on the grammar book. Okay, and the title is, the subject is about infinitive of purpose. I turned on the TV to watch sports. We went in the boat to see the dolphins. Use to plus ba the base form of the verb for a purpose or a reason. To plus base form, it's equal to infinitive. It means infinitive. This word, it means to plus base form of the verb. It means to study, to play, to go, to stay to clean, to get, to run, something like that, okay? It means that. So now we will move to the grammar book to explain that subject. So now, women, pay attention on the grammar book, page 44. Grammar book, page 44. We are going to study our lesson, which is about the infinitive of purpose. The infinitive of purpose. I explain infinitive. It means two plus base form of the verb. It means the verb should be in the base form without any makeup, without any ed or without any ing or without any suffix. Here there is a boy and he said, we went to the stadium to watch the match. Okay. We went to the stadium to watch the match. This is the structure of how we should use the infinitive of purpose. We use to plus base form after an action to say why we did the action. It's actually important, so I'm going to read it again for you. We use to plus base form after an action to say why we did the action. Here we have two sentences, two examples. I'm going to explain each one for you. She went upstairs to get her coat. Here we have a sentence, but it's like when we combine two short sentences together. The first sentence is the action that we did, okay? Or we are going to do it, okay? What am I doing? I'm going to do the past tense, I'm going to do the future, I'm going to do the present. But here, in both sentences, the first action, they are in the past tense. She went upstairs to get her coat. Now, you can make a question, okay? You can ask by why. And say why she went upstairs. So you made a question here. Now the answer for that question it will be the purpose. It will be the reason. Bulk human. Reason or purpose, they have the same meaning. Both of them, it means my best. Hokar. What am I first action? I can say that. Do I run it? I can know. Basha detail in what she, my best chill away or action among her. Do I have to check a card? Do I have to get a secretary card? So why she went upstairs to get her coat. So to get her coat, this short sentence will be the purpose for that action. Why the girl went upstairs. Okay, well, or why she went upstairs. Second example. Dad switched on the TV to watch the news. Dad switched on the TV to watch the news. Okay, now you can ask a question. Why dad switched on the TV? Put a question mark. So the answer for that question will be the purpose. Why that switched on the TV? To watch the news. So to watch the news is the purpose. Okay. And if you look to plus base form, watch it's in the base form. It means without ed or ing. And here also to get, get also it's in the base form without ed or ing or any suffix. So to get her code, it's the reason why the girl went upstairs and to watch the news it's the purpose why that switched on the tv but here in these sentences the first action both of them they are in the past tennis okay but now pay attention to the board because i'm going to explain on the board for you now my dear students take a look to the board here i'm going to explain about the infinitive of purpose as i told you on the grammar book page 44 we have this subject, the infinitive of purpose. I explain infinitive, it means to plus the verb, but the verb should be in the base form, it means without ed or ing or anything else. So purpose, it means reason, okay? It means my best, why we will do or why we did that action, okay? So now, to plus verb in the base form, we call infinitive. Like, I wrote some examples for you. To study, to watch, to get, to run, to stay, to wash, to take, or to bring. Two plus base form. If you look, 
all of the verbs that are in the base form without anything, without any suffix, without any makeup, as I told you. Here I wrote five sentences for you, five examples, so I'm going to explain each one for you. First example, he bought some flowers to give to his mom. So he bought both her, so the first action that the boy did, it's in the past tense, in past tense. So he bought some flowers to give to his mom. So to give is infinitive, as I told you, okay? To give to his mom, this short sentence that will be the reason. It will be the purpose why he bought some flowers. So you can bring why and ask why he bought some flowers to give to his mom, okay? So to give to his mom, it will be the reason why the boy bought some flowers. Next example. I will lock the door to save my home. If you look, this sentence, the first action is about future. It means that in the future, I will do that. So I will lock the door, okay? Why? Why I will lock the door or why I should lock the door? To save my home. To save, it's the infinitive. To save my home, it's the reason, it's the purpose, okay? In order to save my home, I will lock the door. So you can see in this way, in order to save my home, I will lock the door. But oi, mama, come back to the why? What is the reason? Next example. My dad helps me to do my homework. If you look, this sentence, the first action is in the uh, present time or in present time. Why? Because we have help and we put it as because we have he. As I mentioned before, when we have present simple, uh, when we have with subject he, she, it, you have to put S to the verb. So, my dad helps me, it means my dad helps me to do my homework. What is the reason why my dad helps me to do my homework? So, to do is infinitive and to do my homework, it's the reason in order to do my homework. That's why my dad helps me. It's like that. Next one, we are ready to play tennis. So, we told somebody that we are ready. Why? Why we are ready to play tennis? To play is infinitive. To play tennis is the reason that... Why we say we are ready. So we are ready. Come on, what should we do? To play tennis. So this is the reason. In order to play tennis, that, that's why we are ready. Last example. Sarah called her grandma to invite her to dinner. So there's a girl and she called. You see, first action is in past tennis, called her because we have ED on, the, on this verb called. So Sarah called her grandma. Let's see why. Why? Why Sarah called her grandma to invite her to dinner or for dinner? But we thought So Sarah called her grandma. This is the first action that Sarah did. And why? What is the reason? What is the purpose to invite her to dinner? And that's all. Okay. Now listen to me because I'm going to give you your homework. Good women. Again, pay attention because now I'm going to give you your homeworks, which is on page 44 on the grammar book as well. We have two exercises. First one says or asks, match 1 till 10 with 8 till J write sentences used to. It means we have two parts of sentences. You have to join them. And please don't forget to use used to. It means infinitive. Okay. And it should be meaningful. Then when you made a sentence when you are going to make a sentence then you can write down the sentences here okay and pay attention about the numbers also on page 45 so 44 and 45 there are homeworks we have two exercises the first one says complete the sentences use verbs from the blue box nouns from the red box and two it means that in the blue box we have some verbs and in the red box we have some nouns like first example we can use a computer why to play games okay so play here there's a verb games it's the noun so you have to complete the sentences you the verb here and choose a correct noun here to make a sentence to make a correct sentence and this exercise also says write the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions it means that you have to order you have to arrange the uh, words to make a correct sentence but pay attention about number three go come to the zoo the animals too we see we have a question mark it means you 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 have to ask a question how okay can we go to the zoo to see the animals it will be in like in this way because i didn't mention before so but it is very easy 
Okay, you can make a question by yourself. And that's all about your homework. Guliman, you at one homework can ten Bahaman Shiwi Pishuti Benarimbo page for me. Margrela Facebook Mishleo, I bin Muchiaki Kambotan. He white and Rustiki Bastambo of Wazmu, he wadaram, Hamukatl Hoshmun, Homer Kakantam Bashi Jebajakan. Goodbye.